How's it going, guys? So this video is going to be one of them super quick ones where we try and blast through just a really small scene um, very quickly so that you guys can get the general gist of how certain things work. Uh, so I'm going to enable my screencast keys so that you guys can see what's going on. Because it was a, a complaint. Uh, and let's increase the size of the user interface. Uh, again, that was another, another point raised. Um, so okay so let's just jump straight in we're not going to get anything fancy we're just going to add a plane scale it up 10 times and apply that scale and we're going to click add material and we're going to head down to um just leave it on ground and we will go for biome probably yeah and head into the grassland just in case you didn't know how these work uh, so we've got a we've got a sort of filter system uh all of our materials have a specific biome that they fall under aquatic desert forest grassland tropical uh, but you can also change that to color so if you want to search for textures under color you can do that there uh, or surface type uh, so if you want rocks gravel sandy snow whatever it is you can find them you can find them by doing that um so let's just head to grassland and let's just get a, like a muddy muddy grass uh control v render this thing uh, and I'm not happy with that, so let's add some, let's go to mapping and reduce that down to 5, and then let's head to the special tab and apply that anti-tile, and uh, probably going to bring that down to like 3 or something like that, uh, yeah, and I'm just going to mess around with the seed value, uh, yeah, that is the, the seed value, uh, don't need to mess around with the noise, no okay seed i'm fine with that yeah okay uh so this is all gonna get covered with grass in a second anyway so let's rename our plane to uh ground or grass and stuff uh let's drag that into our terrains area and i'm just gonna drag that into the nope i'm gonna drag that into the world lighting so now that we got that um uh, i am going to add some grass so let's head over to the assets lion i'm gonna add a camera first and i'll show you why now draw on zero and that'll snap the camera to our current position uh so let's go back here select the plane add some grass i'm gonna add some great brome probably yeah okay and let's just click add and you can see our, our brome comes in. I'm going to change the scale on this to go from minimum scale of 0.85 to maximum scale of 1.1. Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to reduce the minimum distance to zero and just increase the density max at the minute for 230. I'm going to hide the outlines so I can see this. Um, so there's a couple of things we want to do here. I want to add in a camera mask in the modifiers of the of the scatter system. And this will just sort of create a culling area. So it'll cull everything outside of the mask. Uh, and we're going to add some padding to this, just one. I think, yeah, okay. Uh, and then I'm going to add some simple wind. Uh, and let's play and have a look at this. So that's not moving enough. And I'm gonna to need to increase the viewport density for a minute to 150 so I can see this happening. And we're gonna go into top down view. Okay, so that's not moving as much as I'd like it to. So we're gonna head over to the modifiers, hide this one over here, and we're gonna increase the lean amount and lean add. And we're gonna increase the bounce back, and make the turbulence size 10. And head back into top down view. Uh, let's hide the camera call for a second. Okay, yeah, that looks fine to me. Maybe add a bit more lean, uh, add a bit more bounce back. Um, yeah, okay. And uh, let's put our camera call mask back on. And I'm going to hide these for a minute uh, because I'm going to place some assets. So we're going to click the plane and we're going to use the click to place option. So let's place and I'm going to place some rocks. 
What rocks are we going to place? I'm going to place... You can place any rocks, doesn't matter. Uh, but I'm going to show you why I'm placing these in a second. Uh, so let's hide these. Let's head into our particles. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So click to place. We're going to click to place a high quality one of these. Uh, I'm going to put that there, I think. Am I? Mm, no, I'm not. I'm going to click to place a medium. Uh, we're going to go to rotation, randomize all of them. Um, we're going to go scale, randomize that. Let's go to a, a minimum scale of 1 and a maximum scale of 2.5. And now let's click to place. Like so. Okay. Yep. That'll do. Uh, I'm going to just manually rotate some of these, I think. Yeah. Just don't like the way they were. And maybe make you big. Like so, yeah. And get rid of you. Okay. And I'm just going to make sure all these are selected. And it actually, yeah, that's fine. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add some trees yeah we're gonna do some trees uh let's do spruce trees and let's select the medium ones and maximum scale of 1.1 for these and rotation make sure we turn the x and y off on the randomized rotation because we don't want them moving all over the place so let's click to place again uh, and let's add some trees in um yeah maybe like this yeah that looks really fancy um and i'm probably gonna put a bit more rocks in so let's add some more rocks uh let's go to the let's just pick a collection that's got more than one in see this rock right has only got one in large jacket's only got three in white rocks has got loads in uh and yeah let's pick one that's got three in so we can get random uh, random variants of or randomize the amount of unique models that appear in the scene we're going to use medium again we're not going to get super high detail on this because uh, we don't really need to uh, and what we're going to be doing with these is just placing them randomly like so uh, and probably going to Change the scale again to something like 0 0.75, uh, 0 0.5 and 0.75, and just click to place the exact same ones again. Make them smaller this time. Why not? And let's just head into the render and have a look. Okay, yeah, okay, and uh, let's go back to our scatter system and turn our grass on. Now you can see that our grass is just uniformly forming around everything. Um, but what I want to do is I want to make it sort of patchy under stuff. Uh, so how, how do we do that? We add the modifier and we add the scatter around modifier and we click collection. And we're going to click the, uh, the particles collection because that's where we place all of our stuff. And you can see that it's scattering around them. But what we wanted to actually do is not scatter around them. Uh, so we're going to change the radius to 0.05. And we're going to change our fall off to 1. Uh, and you can see now that what's happening is we've gotten a little bit of feathering out. Uh, as if like the grass didn't grow in that area. We're going to change our radius to 0. Uh, and change our fall off to... 0 0.15, 0 0.25, mm, no, 0 0.5 was fine. Um, and you can't see it now, it looks very patchy, but what will actually happen uh, when we, let's just go full ham and turn our density all the way up, let's double our density account. Yeah, you can see now that we've got this going on. So if we actually go back to the modifiers and just do mess with the fall off just a little bit more, uh, 0.33 maybe. Yeah, that looks fine. And uh, quick render. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, that looks good. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the shader for the grass doesn't have any age in it. So do that there. Um, and I think we're probably good to 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 go. Uh, what we can also do if we wanted to is we can uh, oh modify uh, scatter settings. There we go. I'm going to reduce the viewport density to to one. Um, so that the grass isn't hogging up all of the resources and I'm going to add another modifier and we're going to add a path modifier so there's our path mask okay cool and let's just draw our path um, that was probably absolutely useless for you guys to see because we've got the outlines turned off um, so we're going to redraw our path and you can see that our path is now drawn and then to finish this we just left click again uh, and then we've got our path mask there and we're gonna just we're just gonna fall off again so so one or something maybe um yeah okay and i'm gonna stick this on to render and see what happens so there we go guys, we've got a nice little render out, uh, just a little 1080p, I've not put any denoising on just because I did crank up the sample right, but you can see that we've got sort of our path here and, and around our objects we've got a little bit of less or a little less grass growing underneath them. Um, so yeah that's that one guys, it's just a quick, a quick uh, how to make a small grassy scene i guess uh with some of the new some of the new modifiers that we've got um and we'll do another video on uh lot levels of things um and this is obviously we've got these are our medium level trees um and our medium rocks but we'll go into all of the lots and things that we've got available in a, another tutorial or no probably won't be a tutorial we'll probably just do a video on like texture resolutions um the format that we that we we use to filter things and then the lots of all of our all of our meshes and just compare um render times and things like that so that's that one guys um i guess we'll see you in the next one give us a thumbs up if you liked it give us a thumbs down if you didn't um and leave us a comment if you're stuck on anything or join us on our Discord channel um, to just get involved with the community. And we are pretty active there, so we usually respond to messages a lot quicker in Discord than we do on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, anyway, see you in the next one, guys.